Do you ever look around and just tell yourself, this needs to change? Today, I'm doing something about it. When I'm struggling with something psychologically, I often look at my physical surroundings to bring me comfort because it's something tangible that I can do something about right then and there. This opens my mind to work on and see those things way, way up there, like an attic that I can finally sift through because the clutter isn't as great, adding to the confusion and frustration of things. While I'm not a therapist, I've noticed my own patterns and what actions tend to help me when I'm going through something especially difficult. I feel it goes without saying that we need to be going to God first and for all things. But we can't expect help if we don't first help ourselves. The first things I cleared out of my mental attic, so to speak, were these floral drapes used as a shower curtain. I found them a couple of years ago at Home Goods for our guest bathroom. They're beautiful and served us well, but I felt the space needed something a bit more airy, especially since there isn't a window to be seen in that space to allow in natural light. Then it got me thinking about renovating the space because it really is the last space in our fixer-upper that we've yet to tackle. Well, this year we're not planning on spending that kind of money on the bathroom renovation, but That doesn't mean I can't improve it in some ways. Soon I plan on sharing what I did. But until then, I'm going to sell these to a couple of you who I know have had an eye on them. That's right, they're in my Poshmark closet. But wait, if you click out of this video, I just ask that you come right back to see what other thing I had to do something about this very day. This video was brought to you by our patrons and all those who have purchased from the Inspired by Nikki store. Thank you. I want to welcome you if you are new and hope you will consider subscribing to be inspired daily to make the everyday beautiful. Hello and welcome back. Today I wanted to talk to you about the state of being stateless. So I recently read in an article in my newspaper about this and it's funny because it it stood out to me because this is something that i had already done within my home and um, i was realizing how good it felt just to kind of put everything else on the back burner and do this one thing that just needed my attention in that moment it wasn't something that i planned to do and sometimes that's the best isn't it when you just see something that needs to be done and you are going to drop everything else and just take care of that one thing you're not thinking about what you're going to be doing in you know the next 10 minutes or you just are going to be in that moment and you're going to handle what needs to be handled. I love homemaking like that. It's it's one of my favorite ways 
to do things. Of course I love routine, of course I love schedule, but it's also so wonderful when you can just be in the moment that you are and not think of what came before or what is going to be coming after. And just improving your space and cleaning it up and just doing what needs to be done. So I hope that I can encourage you today to do just that. Find something, you know, as you're going about your day, now, of course, you know, we all have things that need to be done, but say you're just going to be doing some cleaning. Sometimes that means that certain things are just going to be, you're going to be in the moment, you're going to do it right then, and you can put a few other things off and that's okay. So I would just encourage you to find those spaces that you know need to have something done to them and just fully lean into that and be there in that moment. Doing that, you will feel so much better and like you can focus on something instead of running you know in so many different directions as many of us do i know that this is something that i struggle with as well so when i just take on those moments to just be in that moment and to do something to completion it feels so good and i'm not doing something halfway i'm just doing it to the best of my ability feels so wonderful. So I would encourage you to do the same. I hope that you enjoy the rest of this video. Please let me know in the comments below what area are you going to focus on today and we will see each other in the next video. Bye everyone. Here we are back in my kitchen. I have a tendency to let things slide which are tucked away until I just can't take it anymore. Or when I notice what things come to my mind especially when others are around. Do you ever have others over and then notice all the things you've let slip? It can be rather embarrassing, right? This happens to me the most within my kitchen. I know a huge reason is because it's not just me within my home and using the kitchen. Things aren't put back exactly where I left them, and when a few chips spill in a drawer, I'm not right there to know the responsible offender and hold them accountable. Well, that's just the way things go. But I can still take care of the mess, and I will. I don't complain. It's actually a freeing moment knowing I have the ability to completely lean into this cleaning and organizing project. One that will bring me so much peace and leave me feeling excited to open this drawer the next time someone's over instead of positioning myself just so to obscure its view. If I'm organizing my drawers, you know I'm organizing my mental issues too. It's funny how that works, isn't it? I believe the way my surroundings and what's within look are a direct reflection of my mental state. How do you feel about that? <laughs>